Hello everyone, I'm River Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today we've got a brand new event which has come available and it is the Gliding Challenge. Now, for this one, the Fly High, you will need to go and speak to Hugh. So, to get all of the information for this challenge, if you go into your compass, which will show any current events there, and go down to the Gliding Challenge. Now, on there, it will give you some really awesome rewards. So it's definitely recommended to do this. Even if you only do it once or twice, just to get the rewards, definitely recommend doing this challenge. Now, once you have selected your challenge, it's gonna take you to go and see Hugh. Now, this challenge is gonna be located just to the southeast of Lahua Pool. And the first times that you go in to do it, once you mark it on your quest, it will come up and it'll be a pulsing blue diamond on your map. So you'll know where it is from there. Once you have completed the challenge, then the blue marker will disappear. So it does give you an option to be able to pin a new special pin on there, just so you know exactly where it is. But for this one, it's best to go to the Statue of the Seven, which is directly to the southeast of that point and walk up from there a short distance it will get you to Hugh. Now once you go through a little bit of a storyline with him it's going to tell you to start the challenge and this is where the fun will begin. You will need to activate the mechanism and start the gliding challenge. During gliding challenges you can use ascend skill while in flight. Using this skill will cause you to fly a certain distance upwards. During gliding challenges, you can collect particles in the air to charge up the sprint ability. Once this ability charges fully, you may use the sprint ability to hurl yourself forward through the air. You can store up to a maximum of two full sprint charges at once. Now, once you have finished speaking with Hughes, if you then activate the challenge statue by the side of you and that will then start your challenge now you will have three minutes in order to complete the challenge the faster time that you can complete it the more points that you will get at the end and also the more particles that you get the more boosts that you will be able to have and the more coins that you collect along the way the more points you will get at the end as well. Now, it's definitely going to be one of those challenges that you'll probably need to try out a few times initially before you get your full completed run. It's, it's quite a straightforward course, but it's just knowing when to do your boosts, when to fly through the circles, and when to avoid those circles in some occasions. But it's definitely something that is worthwhile for you to try and do. Now, one thing that I do recommend, if possible, if for any reason you do fail or you don't reach a boost circle in time and, and you land on the floor, then you're not going to complete it. So rather than trying to head back to the start point, if you just go back onto your map and select the Statue of the Seven again, it will take you as though it's going to teleport you and then it will pop up on the screen challenge failed do you want to retry if you click yes it will take you back to the statue so you won't have to travel back over there if you click no then it will take you to the teleporter and you will either have to travel back to the challenge point yourself or, or go off and do whatever you need to do once you have completed the challenge and you can either get a bronze a silver or a gold medal even if you get the gold don't forget that you can still collect rewards for bronze and silver as well so don't worry you know thinking oh i'm not going to get those rewards you will still get those all if you only complete it and get a, a bronze then you will only get bronze rewards you'll need to keep doing the challenge again until you can get a good enough time. Now, so far, I have tried it a few times, a few trial runs, and then, of course, my completed run then at the end. And currently, my best time at the moment is 
1 minute 57 remaining and collected the five coins so i did get a score of 34,040 so pretty decent score but i am interested to know what your scores are and how much time left you have at the end so do let me know in the comments if you manage to beat the time or not let's see who can get the quickest time in completing this glider challenge now this is only day one there is going to be another six days worth of challenges i don't know whether they're going to be different challenges every time or whether it's the same course and different rewards i don't know as yet but we'll find out tomorrow what those are so do let me know in the comments what your time is what score you have managed to get and let's see who can get the best score on the gliding challenge but i hope it does help you out if it does don't forget to hit that like smash that subscribe turn on the notification bell you'll always get updated on my content when it comes out you can always follow me over on twitter discord and twitch i do stream quite regularly so come and check me out over there but until the next time I hope you have a lovely day, happy gliding, and stay safe, my friends.